get a spatula just so I can make sure I get all the yolk. Do a nice whisk, whisk, whisk. So now the egg and yolk mixture is all mixed up and the flour and the sugar and salt is ready to go. And this is the base here. We're gonna come together close so we can do it up in each other's grills. Let's be in the grills of one another. We're gonna start with the dry base and then add in the liquid slowly but surely. You're gonna have to like watch out for the frothiness of the whisking versus actual boil bubble. But you can tell, frothy is a little bit more of a light bubble and a deep, you know, the boil is it coming from under. But once you let it boil, you're gonna let it thicken up some. Well, not some. I let mine thicken up some. Uh, I could have definitely let it go longer. But that pan, it can burn, so I, I didn't even want to risk it. So just work with your tools properly. I'm gonna take it off the heat, and once I think it's hot enough, add in the vanilla extract with fat consistently. And I'm gonna do the same for some butter. I'm gonna put that into the bowl and get some cling wrap. This is where you gotta make sure you pay attention and get the whole put in. Even the sides, like the special close rim. And you're gonna cover that up. I'm gonna pop it into the fridge. Let that do its thing for about an hour or so. Then I'm gonna chop up the banana. Give that its proper prep. Peel off a little stringy string, you know, do what needs to be done. I'm gonna assemble that throughout the pan. Add on the vanilla wafers. Proceed forward. Okay, so our pudding is ready to go. I'm about to pull it out the fridge. I think it has a nice look to it. I'm gonna take the top wrap off and then the oh yeah! Look at that. Jiggle jiggle jiggle. Okay, so now we have our assembled base of bananas and the vanilla wafers. I could have made them from scratch, but honestly, no, like, we're just gonna go for the branded uh, vanilla wafers. I'm just gonna pour this on top. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes, it's like, yes. Perfect. I'm gonna see gonna just plop it. Yep, mm hmm. Plop, 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 plop. <laughs> yes, yes. There we go. And I'm actually just going to kind of do like a swivel motion. And I could have did more layers, but I really just wanted something like this. More decorative. Like, I could really go um, make some whipped cream and really cover this up. But right now, I think I'm just going to top the cookies okay there we go okay, let's taste it real quick yeah Mm-hmm. Chef Piz. And I'm gonna just reuse that plastic I already had. 
and just cover this up. And pop this back in the fridge. And so this is gonna be the most important part. Cause you gotta let the flavors really meld together and come. The bananas need the, all of this is gonna be really good. Yeah. And then we'll garnish it and make it look all pretty. Okay. So, we're gonna wrap it up and pop it in. And pop some cookies in there. Not a lot. I think this might be good enough. I could have used a smaller bag too. I just, yeah. I, if you ever have crushed up Oreos, you will know why I went the way I went. And I'm gonna just use one of my uh, no hooks paddle. There we go. Okay. So now I'm gonna unwrap this. It's definitely been about like four for sure, like four hours. And now it's pretty much just popping the bananas in a nice circular motion. And once the bananas are assembled around, I'm going to put on the cookie crumble. Might have to cut some more bananas before I do that. And then it's crumble time. <laughs> We did it again, y'all! And Phineas is making a little cameo, which he never does. Because usually, you know, I'm cooking, so he's not allowed in this area. But, my son! So, now, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is like a decent shot. Honestly, I might just have to put it down here. Put it on a trivet! I'm pretty sure it's a trivet. I'm really thinking about something else. It is pretty late where I'm at right now. But I'll have to say is thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, you can make instant homemade anyway. Like the instant does have the banana flavor, so you want that banana pizzazz to it. But I love it from scratch. It makes it reminds me of just my childhood and like, you know, back home, even though I don't get to go home as much as I used to. Like, you know, being an adult and that whole transition of childhood to adult and then learning and all that you know all that whatever's but all the, the whatever's of life uh, but you know it's more than whatever it's like the whole like dialogue journey but anyways put that to the side the banana pudding we accomplished it thank you so much make sure to subscribe and like and honestly we've got to get into the taste test so we're gonna do that real quick let's hop into Okay, excuse me y'all, it's been hot in the kitchen, and I'm most likely sweaty. Um, <clears throat> but let's test try this. I got a spoon, and the will, and the sadness of having to break this up, but I took a bunch of photos, so yeah, we're just gonna scoop, scoop and dunk, scoop dunk, and bring on top. Like, if I was serving this, I would have probably have done it just individuals. I feel like that's the best way to do puddings is individual. Um, because it's hard to make sure it comes out pretty. Mmm. But, mmm. Exactly what I need to be doing. Yeah. This is delicious. So please, please, please try this at home. And remember to comment down below your favorite pudding flavor. Like I said earlier, tapioca. 
I like the Everly. Okay, so now I'm back. I hope I enjoyed it, but I, I'm pretty sure I did. But thank you so much for watching. You made it to the point. It also just it always means the absolute world to me. So thank you. Um, and until next time.